everybody, Matthew Larry here. I want to take a second to welcome you to Friday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. Now all this week on the broadcast, we've been doing a series of teachings entitled, Filling Your Heart. And friend, these broadcasts have been powerful. If you've missed any of them, make sure you go back and watch. Now on today's broadcast, I want to talk to you about guarding your heart. In Proverbs 4.23, the Lord said this, Keep your heart with all diligence. The New Living Translation says, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Guard your heart above all else. The Message Bible says, keep vigilant watch over your heart. That's where life starts. And so we are told in the Word of God to guard our heart above everything else. Now, why is that? Well, on yesterday's broadcast, we found out that we will live in subjection to whatever we are full of. We found out that we are at the mercy of whatever we filled our heart with, and we found out that whatever we let in us, we authorize to rule over us and be brought forth in our lives. And so this is why the Lord is telling you, above everything else, guard your heart. Why is that? Because if it gets into your heart, it is going to get into your life. And so you and I need to do this. We need to take this seriously. In fact, as I was preparing for the broadcast this week, the Lord said this to me, we are not taking this seriously enough. What? Guarding our heart. He said, guard it above all else. You know, it's easy to read scriptures, particularly ones that you've heard more than once. You know, it's easy to read them and just brush by them. This is what the Lord said to me. We are not taking this seriously enough. Guard your heart above all else. You know, Young's literal translation says this, above every charge, keep your heart for out of it are the outgoings of life. Above every charge, guard your heart. There's urgency in these words. There's weight in these words. There's a seriousness in these words. Guard your heart. Friend, anything you don't want in your life, don't let it into your heart. Now, one of the biggest lies that the enemy has sold us as believers and even the world is that we can listen to, watch things, and look at stuff and feed on things, but it won't affect us. One of the biggest lies the enemy has sold us is, oh, I can watch that. I can listen to that. I can feed on that. I can look at that, and it, it won't affect me. I can watch hours and hours of the news and it won't affect me and I can feed on people's opinions and all the unbelief and junk they're sharing on social media for hours and hours and oh, it, it won't affect me. I, I'm a Christian. I know the Lord. It, it won't affect me. This is one of the biggest lies that the enemy has sold us that we can sit there and feed on stuff and it won't affect us. You know, what you feed on you get full of, and it will affect you. Let me give you a good example of this. In Jeremiah 15, 16, Jeremiah said, Lord, your words were found, and I did eat them. Come on, and your word was the joy and rejoicing of my heart. What you feed on, you get full of, and it will affect you. He fed on the word, got full of the word, and it affected him. Well, if feeding on God's words fills your heart with joy and strength, then feeding on the world's junk are words that oppose God's word would do the opposite. They would discourage you and weaken you and bring you down. And so, friend, don't believe the lie that I can listen to this. I can watch this for hours on end and it won't get in me. Do you remember what Jesus said in Matthew 6, 22? He said, the light or the entryway into your body or into your being is the eye. The light of the body is the eye. That's how things get in you. And Satan wants you to think that you can listen to that 
You can look at that. You can feed on that and focus on it and it won't get in you. He wants you to think that because while you're think, thinking that and feeding on those things, the things you're feeding on are getting in you. He wants you to think that you can watch it and listen to it and read it and it won't affect you because while you're thinking it won't affect you, it's affecting you. What you eat will get in you and affect you. Job 34.3 said this, Your, The ear tries words as the mouth tastes meat. And so the way that we eat spiritually is through words. Words are food. And the words you focus on and listen to, you eat. And when you do, they will get in you. If you feed on worldly things, it's going to affect you on the inside. Stop believing the lie. You can't sit there and watch all these news reports for hours and hours upon end and it not affect you. You can't sit there and read all of that junk on social media for hours and hours and hours and it not affect you. It's affecting you right now. And friend, I have a word for you. I don't do this often, but I just sense this in my heart. And I don't know if this is for everybody or just for some of you, but you'll know if it's for you. There are many of you that are watching the broadcast. You are spending too much time watching the news. You are spending too much time on social media. And it's affecting you. And it's darkening you. And it's weakening you. Don't believe the devil's lies that I can feed on this hours and hours upon end and it's not affecting you. Friend, it's already affected you. And so if that's you, don't be discouraged, don't be condemned, repent and make the changes you need to make and get full of the right stuff. You know, the world that you and I live in, we are inundated with evil and darkness and death all the time coming from all different directions. And we have to cut that stuff off and fill our heart with the word of God and be like Jeremiah Lord, I ate your words, and they were joy and rejoicing to my heart. You know, so many people today with the pandemic and all these things going on in the country, they're so discouraged, they're so fearful, they're so full of panic. And you want to know why? Because they've been feeding on the news media and social media. And in reality, their fear, their discouragement, their panic is self-inflicted. That's what they ate. And it affected them. Come on, friend. It's like naturally speaking. You know, around the holidays, maybe you, you, know, you eat a little bit more unhealthy. Or, you know, we just got back from vacation. On vacation, you know, we kind of eat a little different than we do when we're at home, enjoy some more things. You can't do that without it affecting you. You know, I, I don't know about you, but I wish I could just eat whatever I wanted and it would never affect my body. That's a lie. And the same thing is true spiritually. You can't just listen to a bunch of junk and it not affect you. And so let's feed on the word of God. Let's fill our heart with the word of God and let's let it be joy and strength and rejoicing to our hearts. You and I need to be ever mindful of what we're feeding on, what we're looking at and what we're listening to because that's what we're gonna be full of. We need to be ever mindful Come on, of what we're feeding on, what we're thinking about, what we're focusing on, what we're listening to. In Romans 8, it said to be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. Friend, what you focus on, what you feed on is a matter of life and death. And we need to be asking ourselves all the time, listening to that, looking at that, focusing on that. What will that do to me? Come on, listening to that, reading that, looking at that, focusing on that. What will that do to me? If I do get on my phone and, and read every news website and sit on you know, Instagram and Facebook and social media for two hours, if I, if I read all that junk, what will that do to me? How will that affect my inner man? Because the Lord told me to guard my heart and don't let stuff in. And so if I do listen to that, if I do read that, if I do focus on that, what will that do to me? You know, I'll just give you a personal testimony. 
Um, a few weeks back, I, I, I'm not a big news person, but since this uh, stuff's been going on, I've been trying to stay a little bit more up on the news. And my, my basic thing of getting, looking on the news, I'd get on a news website and basically read the headlines, might cr click on one or two articles and skim. I would be on there for maybe a total, I, I'm guessing a five, 10 minutes tops. But I was doing that about every day. And the Lord corrected me, said, you need to stop this. Well, and, and I noticed it because when I would get done looking at it, I would, I would feel like I just ate something bad. <laughs> you know, I would feel low. Have you ever ate a real greasy fast food meal? And man, it was delicious going down. But after you got done, you're like, oh man, why did I eat that? <laughs> well, that's what was happening to me when I was looking at all these news websites. And then, you know, and, and the same thing was happening on social media. I'd get on Facebook and hear everybody's unbelieving opinion about what's going on in the world. And I'd feel so low. And the Lord said, you need to stop this. And so I've stopped it and I've cut it off. And uh, it's affected me inwardly. Why? Because we need to be mindful. If I do look at that, listen to that, what's that going to do to me? And friend, we also need this. We need to learn the art of meditating in the word. You know, God told Joshua, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate therein day and night. Meditate means to utter and to mutter. And you and I need to learn the art of just muttering and uttering God's word all day, every day, when you're by yourself, you're just uttering and muttering, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I am the righteous and I'll flourish in a time of famine and no plague comes near my dwelling and I'm more than a conqueror through him that loves me. We just need to have that kind of thing going over our heart and in our mouth all the time. Why? Because when we're doing that, that's what we're feeding on. That's what we're focusing on and that'll have an effect in our lives. And so friend, let me encourage you, meditate in the word and cut off anything that needs to be cut off in your life and start being much more mindful of what you're focusing on and what you're feeding on. And ask yourself the question, if I look at that, if I feed on that, what will that do to me? And I believe as you acknowledge the Lord in this, friend, I believe He'll help you and I believe He'll give you the grace to cut off anything you need to cut off and you will be in much better shape on the inside in Jesus' name. Now, as we're closing today's broadcast, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, God told us in His Word to guard our heart above all else. Number two, one of the biggest lies that Satan has sold us is that we can listen to, watch, and focus on things, and it won't affect us. And number three, we need to be ever mindful of what we're feeding on, looking at, and listening to because that is what we will be full of. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we thank you today for your grace and help to fill our hearts with the things you've told us to. We thank you for grace and help to guard our hearts and not let anything into our hearts that we don't want into our lives. Lord, if we start to listen to something or look at something that we don't need to be looking at and listening to, we're asking you by your spirit to, to bring that up in us and correct us so that we can cut it off and guard, guard our hearts the way you told us to. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, friend, I'm hooked in faith with you over these messages. And I believe that you're not only going to hear these words, but you're going to be a doer of these words and you're going to get your heart full of the Word of God and bring forth some great things in your life in Jesus' name. Now, don't forget to come back Monday for our next edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.